You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. Big Sean explains why he hasn't married Janae Aiko yet. Despite them sharing a child, if you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content go live. Man, I, would, I should have did a video about this on Saturday, but I was watching the fight, man. So I was so tuned in because I wanted to see my boy Crawford um, win that belt. But anyway, though, he sat down with Charlemagne the God and discussed his near decade long relationship with Janae. Um, when asked about possibly tying the knot uh, with her, Big Sean said, there has not been a secret industry marriage. It's a little personal. But to be real with you, just like any people who have dealt with love, we've had our ups and downs. And I think it's still finding the right navigation through it all. He explained he doesn't want to rush into marriage. To me, marriage symbolizes the best relationship People be like, when you're going to get married, I feel like having a relationship is first and foremost, and marriage is a byproduct of that. And I agree with him 100%. I'm going to get to that, though. Don't get me wrong. Let's continue. A lot of people get the idea of like, oh, you have to get married. But to me, that's almost a fear-based way of thinking because then people be getting divorced. The divorce rate is so effing high, especially for um black people out here. White people... It's high. Mexican people is high. Asian people is high. East Indian people is high. But black people, extremely high. Sean insisted that he isn't ruling out marrying her. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done in general. She and I both have to be on the same page. Not to say we aren't. I can only speak for myself that there needs to be more work done so we can keep going. Because there's a lot of focus on our family and careers and everything. And that's something that I feel like has not been the main focus. Um, let's see. So they have a one-year-old son named Noah who was born November 2022. He's about to be two years old in November. Um, and I, she suffered a miscarriage before. Um, so she also has another child with um, Orion, who is the younger brother of Omarion. I forgot how old that child is, but um, let's talk about this, man. First and foremost, like, I saw a lot of people coming at Big Sean, like, very disrespectful, saying, oh, yeah, he he's scared to get married. He don't want to um, marry her. You know, he probably trying to, you know, avoid marriage because he wants to still cheat, have his cake, and eat it, too. Um, okay, that could be true. I'm not going to deny that. He probably got his options out there. He might, he might, he might want to hit something else. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a stick to everything, y'all. So I'm not going to just point the finger at him. I'm going to point the finger at her too. He might be like, you know what? There's other women out there that will actually appreciate me more, and I might want to go that route and see what's going on. That's a possibility, right? All right, that's one way. Number two, it could be something that he don't like with her. Maybe it's the fact that he feels like they're not growing on a certain wavelength that he probably feel like, damn, man, at one point we was doing this, but now we're doing this, and I don't like that. You know, maybe he just sees a different side of her because they had the baby, and maybe that probably turned him off. That's my personal opinion. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Like, I was married before, and even though be, me being married – it was one of the best things in my life, but at the same time, though, a lot of stuff changed when I kind of saw how her family got down, and she kept trying to make excuses for her family, so I was like, F that, you know what I'm saying? And that, and I, I set boundaries, but at the same time, she gave me an ultimatum. Either I kiss her father's ass, or she was going to break up with me, so I filed for divorce. You know, and then after that, you know, we tried to go to counseling, but, you know, I found out she was having an affair with um the therapist. Yep, I put it out there. She was having an affair with the therapist. So, 
You know, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. But right now, when you're trying to get married, there's things you got to discuss. You got to talk about parenting styles, the credit debt, how do you deal with your in-laws, what beliefs will be installed in your children, the parenting styles. All childhood trauma should be brought to the surface. Sexual expectations, your partner expectations, financial expectations, family health history. Because, you know, what happened if the, you have diabetes in your family or some type of like dementia or like whatever. Like that stuff needs to be discussed so you can know what you're dealing with. Bucket list, dream home. What happened if y'all want to move out of state or one person wants to move in a different city? Is that okay? Education for the child. Y'all education together. Political views. One person might not like Trump. One person um, loves Trump. One person don't care for voting. Another person loves voting. Um, so stuff like that, you got to pay attention to. And I think people overlook. So um, having a baby, you know, I don't have children yet. And like I said, I could have had children. There's like any man out here that has children is not a bad thing. But I felt like I wanted to take my time because I know myself. I know my worth. And if women look at me like, huh? You don't got no children yet? That's weird. No, I ain't weird. Because if I would have had a child or some children, y'all wouldn't be trying to talk to me. Y'all wouldn't be trying to talk to me. So let's keep that shit real. So right now, as far as Big Sean, he's probably just looking at a lot of things that either A, he just feels like there needs to be some um, work done on her end and his end. Two, B, Maybe he just feels like this ain't the one. He just tag, he just stringing her along. See, maybe she thought that baby having a baby with him, she was going to keep him. D, maybe they just wasting each other's time. And they wasn't honest with, me, with each other from the get-go. So you got to lay everything out when you're dealing with somebody. As far as like, be honest, man. If you don't want to be with that person and you just want to, you know, have sex with them, Okay, just say it. Just say it so everybody can know where they stand. Because a lot of times we out here wasting time, man. People got things to do. I'm not trying to waste no other woman's time. Yes, I love sex and all, but damn, it's not, it's not always about that. I'm trying to build a legacy. When I pass away one day, I want my children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren to have everything. You know, not just, you know, financial wealth. I'm talking about spiritual wealth, mental, intellectual, psychological wealth. You know, a lot of things that I can instill in them. But, you know, we just thinking with the wrong head. And, you know, a lot of women out here looking for a come up. But there's some good ass women out here really to actually be a nurturer, a traditional woman. You know, and there's some men out here that want to be a traditional man, husband. Post your comments below. Hope smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. You want to support? Donate to the channel. I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo Cash App. PayPal Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, y'all. Salute.